okay as i said it's a full fledged conversation uh, uh, after 90 it's going to be a full fledged con conversation i have tell you yes the first one we have seen how, how to wish and how to start up your conversation and how to ask the how are you and the next question in between the conversation if you want to ask the clarifications in the, what are the different way of to ask the asking for a clarification first one i'm sorry i don't understand could you please repeat that okay so if you the thing you are not get uh, so much clarification in with your close friend you doesn't need to say these kind of a respectful word okay you can simply say no i can't understand no you can simply say but when you are in a informal uh, in meetings you cannot simply say i can't understand then they they will throw it out okay so you want to apologize for your not um, not getting that uh, 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 very uh, soon clarification okay so you want to ask some apologies and and, uh, and after that you are uh, want to uh, telling the reason why you apologized why you asked the apologies i don't understand could you please uh, repeat that okay and, uh, and also i have told you to ask someone question with a full of uh, respect you should uh, need some kind of a word like could can shall may so these are the some word we can use to show the respect to the opponent person okay so next second one i'm sorry i don't understand could you please explain that okay this is also a same meaning but a little a difference in that okay so very important one thing if you are in the formal thing or if you are not understanding a formally uh, end up thing means you want to say uh, with the full of respect okay so you definitely you want to ask the apologize first you are not getting a soon clarification or you not doesn't get a, a clarification within a, a few uh, minutes okay so you want to do uh, apologies and you cannot ask the ask to repeat them very uh, lethargically can you come up again you cannot say it like, like that okay so you want to show the respectful okay so you not uh, purposely you want to uh, mention the opponent person that you are not doing this um, you know uh, like um, wantedly okay so the uh, third thing care to elaborate so this is a, not a very formal one it's a very informal way do you care to elaborate on this so you can come up with these one with your close friends okay so if i ask to elaborate you, you if you feel anything bad okay so you're asking your friend okay so you cannot ask this to your higher officials okay so this is a very informal way so the first two is a formal way of to asking the clarification and this is a very informal way of to asking the clarification okay so the next one if you simply didn't hear something just say it like this okay so if you doesn't hear anything okay so we are not we we can't be very attentive in every second on every moment we can't be very att attentively so this is a very human nature so if if you simply didn't hear something just say it like this i'm sorry i didn't hear that could you please repeat okay so for example if you are sitting a very large you didn't hear anything but you want to uh, need explanation means you can come up with these kind of uh, uh, results like i'm sorry i didn't hear that could you please repeat so repeat means you are asking a repeat our second one i'm sorry i didn't catch that could you please uh, repeat so whereas if i have mentioned here catch even though i have mentioned the sorry here also i have included the word catch so catch means it's not it doesn't show much uh, formal uh, way of asking the clarification or asking the doubt or asking to repeat again okay so you can uh, tell it in like when, you, when your colleague means it will be a no problem so when you are going to the higher officials i can't catch you can you repeat again means it will be not as much uh, be respectful even though you have mentioned a sorry and a please it i myself i am feeling this uh, thing okay 
So next last one, could you say that again please? Okay, so this is, um, you can use it for a both formal and informal, but if your the body language was uh, missed, it will be not so formal. Like, um, could you say that again? If you ask very simply means, then the body language itself shows that you are not asking the repeat very respectively. So if, if you using the, uh, this one, if you felt this is a very simple way means and you like and if you are very comfortable with asking a uh, question in this type means, you can show the respect in your uh, body language like could you say that again please? Okay, so you want to show the body language. Okay, so I have doesn't mention any particular word like a sorry or asking, I apologize and a reason, anything. It's a very simple way, but here only one thing, your body language also want to speak. Okay, so these are the different way of asking the clarification and asking the repeat.